Hello, everyone. Good and hello, everyone. Good morning and greetings to you all. Um, I just have to say I am really, really pleased to be here to the president, President Walsh, the Board of Trustees, faculty, and staff. Thank you for spending the day with me. A special bow and salute to the distinguished class of 2020. They said that 2020 was a year of clear vision, but I do not think ladies, gents, and family, any of us saw this coming. As a young girl, I would spend summers, which were my favorite in Virginia. I'm from Wilmington, Delaware, and my grandmother lived in Chesapeake, Virginia. The road trips I would look forward to time after time after time. Now for me and my cousins, it was a blast. I had a ball and we had fun. But for my grandmother, having me, my sister, and all my cousins there, it could have been overwhelming. I was kind of a wild child. They used to call me Buck Wild, probably because I had a lot of energy. And I was the youngest, very mischievous, and always seemed to get into things. But I could vividly remember her soft curls, warm smile, but stoic presentation that stayed with me forever, even when she passed away at the age of 12. But what I continue to hear over and over again were her wise words, always saying, always remember to be a lady and never let success get to your head and let failure get to your heart. See, I, I didn't know what she meant then, but I would spend several years failing consistently. And every time I failed, I fell forward. In martial arts, I was beaten. In dance, I was looked over. In school, I was struggling. In acting, I couldn't book a gig. See, this game called life will teach you, but you have to play to learn and understand that whatever won't fold you will mold you. Now, I remember graduating college, barely, and landing a position at BT Digital in New York City. Now, this, this, ladies and gentlemen, I will be honest, it was supposed to be a temporary job, meaning it's a pilot, we'll probably shoot for about a few weeks. We do not know if the show will continue, so please do not pack up all of your stuff and move to New York City. Hmm. But what they didn't know is that I had no intention on returning to Wilmington, Delaware. Now, it was a new show, so they had a very small budget. And with the rate I was making, minimum wage, living in Manhattan, it was difficult to survive. I don't think anyone knew that. See, I would wake up at 3 a.m. every morning to research, to write five stories or more. I would edit, I would request photos, I would memorize my scripts, I would do my own hair, I would do my own makeup, and then I would host the show. Now by the summertime, that first summer in New York, I had landed a TV series on ESPN and it aired Tuesdays and Thursdays. But I have to be honest and transparent and tell you about this one day. I was sitting in my little section right next to the closet that was turned into a green screen studio preparing to film. And one of the directors at the time at BET approached me with a, a baffled look upon their face. They said, um, Shamila, do you host outside of here? I said, yes, I've been doing this for years, since I was about 10 years old, I replied. Interesting, they said. Well, I, I must be tripping because I was at a sports bar around 7 p.m. with a few colleagues, and then you appeared on the screen live from Rucker Park hosting EBC for ESPN. And then there was this grand awkward pause as if I was supposed to interject just to kind of confirm, oh yeah, you're tripping, that wasn't me. I don't know what you're talking about. Instead, I took a beat because I talk a lot. So when I take a beat, it's pretty like, it's a shocking thing for people. So I took a beat and I looked and I laughed and I said, yeah, that's me. I shoot every week. And the director's response stood out to me. They replied, 
well, why the heck are you still shooting a show that's only on BET.com if you're already on a network in a lighthearted, polite manner, of course. And I simply replied, looking them in their eyes and saying, I treat every job with the same respect, effort, and execution. <laughs> Whoo, now in that very moment, I could hear my grandmother saying, never let success get to your head and failure get to your heart. Fast forward three years later, and that show that I helped to launch on BET became BET's top digital daily series. I personally had grown to become a desired talent, not just by BET networks, but by majority of the media platforms surrounding the globe. <laughs> and get this note, even during those times, I was still waking up at 3 a.m. just to host a show that's on BET.com. Look, ladies, I really need you to focus and understand that opportunities do not always come with their price tag value stamped upon them. And the thing is, is that opp if opportunity doesn't knock, then you build the door. And if no one will give you a seat at the table, then you build the table and you assign the seats. You have to understand that. See, ladies, I've sat in your seat. Not literally, of course, I mean, you're, you're virtual, but I've walked in your shoes. And understand that everyone wants to walk in your heels until they find out the price that you paid for them. It's not cheap. Now I know it wasn't easy. Come on, I know it wasn't easy. Those long nights in the study, asking a friend for a swipe just so you can eat from the calf, fighting with financial aid, fighting for your grades, trying to build relationships with friends that you barely know, but you need your sisters to trust, using your refund check to buy books because you know your family doesn't have it and you don't want to worry about the burden. The whole time, you also want to get that homecoming outfit that you know you're going to look good in because your ex is coming and you want to show off all while trying to join a sorority and maintaining your academic responsibility, responsibilities. Yet, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, that it takes a special kind of soul to be able to inspire the masses and move mountains. Me personally, I'm not sure of another group of women who when their backs were up against the wall, raised nine point five million dollars in 60 days to save their institution that is resilience hmm. know you're different know you are different you are cut from the bennett college cloth oh who do those fabrics feel so good a cloth that will produce future doctors future lawyers entrepreneurs, media moguls, female presidents of a college and university that can change the world. See what I didn't let you know earlier is that I am a proud descendant of a Bennett Bell. My dear grandmother, who I spoke of earlier, Miss Fanny Carol Green, served as the secretary for the class of 1949 and went on to dedicate her life to education and service because that is what a Bennett Bell does. I urge you, specifically the class of 2020, to go confidently in the direction of your dreams and live the life that you imagined, you worked for, hmm. with the strength to never let failure, whoo, I don't think anyone hears me. I said to never, let failure get to your head. Oh, and let the success weigh you down. Now, though I understand that the generation that we're in, our generation cares more about a follow back than following their dreams. I said, our generation cares more about a follow back than following their dreams. See, I know Bennett Bells know differently. Huh. They know what they worked for. And they cannot and will not be denied, period. Hmm. Bells, 
Use today, 11.44 a.m. Use today to make tomorrow's legacy. You never know. Maybe your granddaughter, just maybe, could be making history as the youngest commencement speaker 70 years later in the wise words of Fanny Carol Green. Remember to always be a lady a quote I'm sure she learned at Bennett, and never let failure get to you and success overpower you. And most importantly, always remember that no matter what the world tells you, no matter what the world denies you of, no matter what the world tries to take hold of your accomplishments, you remember with or without the honors, you were already born a queen. You've already claimed your throne and you already are already prepared to serve. I am extremely honored. I'm extremely privileged. And I must say to arguably one of the greatest leaders, purest souls and most uplifting individuals. President Walsh, thank you. To the distinguished board of trustees, to the immaculate faculty and hardworking staff, to the dedicated and endlessly working parents and family, thank you for spending the day with me and allowing me to spend the day with you. And a special bow, a super twerk, a turn up, a whoop whoop, to the distinguished, the honorable, the unmatching, the legendary, the incomparable legends of 2020. This is your time, this is your day, and this is your moment. I am Jamela Mustafa, and it is an honor to have been your commencement speaker. Thank you for your time, your mind, and ladies, get on that grind. See you on the other side. Bennett!